so i'm gonna go away it says link tree their website is pretty convenient and it's really easy to use so you see it says get started for free so this is how their site looks basically they give you like a rundown of how the everything is gonna go and your username and everything else so we're just gonna go ahead and get started so you're gonna click on get started for free and here I already have my emails and everything set aside on the side. So all you do is enter your email, username, password, and you repeat the password, you register, and then we're gonna get in and start putting the link and customize our page and let you see how it looks in the end. So I have everything down in my notepad because I find it easier to make this a bit faster. So I'm gonna copy my email. And I'm gonna paste it there. All right, so I just copied and pasted my email as you see right here. It's approved. Then I am going to put my name that I want. The name is Fab Food. And then I'm going to put in a password. As you can see, then you're going to repeat the password. And then you're going to go ahead and press register. So I'm going to say safe password. And we are logging in. So as you can see, when you get to the get started page, you can uh, put the name of your page. So it's Fab Food again. Tell us about yourself. So I'm going to choose categories. It's food. Okay, let's see if we have food here. I would just say arts, entertainment, personal food and hospitality so that's basically it for this page and then i'm gonna say i'm not a robot already and then we have saved the details so it says you can select a plan either to be a pro or the free one as you can see so if you're on the pro version you can see that's all the things that you actually uh, get um, you get help quickly, advanced customization, premium themes, custom buttons and font styles, background images, advanced analytics, click-through rate, location data and more, video SMS, email, priority links, integration with MailChimp, Facebook, Twitch and so much more complete customization of your link tree colors, button styles and fonts. And here is the free one. I feel like you still get a lot of perks as you can see here. Unlimited links on your link tree so you can put as many links as you want see the total number of times the your link tree has actually been clicked see lifetime views of your link tree pick selection of themes upload your own profile image amazon influencer program integration um if you are in the amazon uh, affiliate link affiliate program so that's good so i'm gonna continue with free so we are gonna continue Okay, so I'm going to go into my email and verify the email that they just sent now. So it's a basic sign up for anything that you would sign up for, for any account. This is what they would ask you to, 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 to use to sign in, basically. So I usually, if you've saved your password and everything, it will just automatically ask you to do that. Then I am logging in. And this is the fun part. We're going to add the first link for our page. So you just click the purple button where it says add link. So I have two of my links already saved on the side here. So we have the Facebook um, Fab Food link. So it's short enough. I'm going to keep it as is and the title fab food Facebook page so then we are good it's already clicked then I'm going to say add a new link because I want to add a new one 
so as you can see here my youtube playlist link is really long i'm going to actually use bitly to shorten it so bitly is another site that you can use to shorten links just to make them more bite size and chewable if something is long it just gets a bit much so i'm just gonna copy the link i'm gonna go to bitly paste the link and I'm gonna shorten it and there Bob's your uncle the link is like really short and concise so now that we've shortened the link I'm just gonna go in there and paste it as you can see it's really nice short and concise so this is my fab food YouTube page now that is done you're just gonna go done so if you want to deactivate a link that you put on you can just click on the button then it's deactivated then you can activate it again so we're gonna go ahead and go to appearance so this is how your link is gonna look when you open up a certain part so i can actually pick an image so i'm gonna take it from my photo library so i already have a photo that i actually had taken or a screenshot from my actual page so you can actually adjust it to maybe the part that you want on your profile so this is what I want for my fab food page then I'm gonna go ahead and upload it and voila so we already uploaded that so you can pick as you can see the themes the pro ones are locked but then these ones are just basic the ones that are down here the one that you saw earlier on was the one on my actual profile and this time i'm just gonna pick i like this yellow one yes so this will be my my basically appearance so you can check your settings to see uh what you want and you know all of these other causes and sms sign me up so these are options that are you know you know in the pro version so you must also just be wary and check your settings and so we are done with the appearance we are done with the links so this is how my page is looking so now once i'm done i'm actually gonna so you can actually share your link tree link so i'm gonna click on it and i'm gonna copy it then we're gonna go to instagram and actually paste this on my instagram fab food page and here we are so i'm gonna go ahead and go and edit profile and we're gonna put that link and done so this is the telling time i'm gonna click on the link tree and there we go so this is my link tree profile as you can see my fab food page is there and my facebook page and just to check if it's working if i click on the link here there we go it lands straight on my youtube page and i can literally go back and then go to my facebook page so there we go it is literally done you now have set up your link tree. You can share it everywhere. You can take this link, put it on your Twitter, put it on your Facebook, anywhere that you want. And you can keep on adding and adding links. You can add, see the purple button that you see here. You just press on it and you add more links, as many as you want. So you can either you know, save the password or keep it somewhere where you know, if you're not okay with saving passwords on browsers, you can do that link tree is convenient and i think it's easy easy as pie like literally so let me know if you will be willing to set up a link tree on your social media platforms did you find this video helpful and you know if there's any other sites that you do the same with uh, please let me know as well uh, but yeah this is it for this video i will see you in my next video please like this video give it a thumbs up if it was helpful to you uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new as there is more tiktok videos my tiktok playlist is available for you if you want to know all the technical things from sound how to use your camera where to get royalty free music how to go about navigating youtube and social media all is there in my tiktok playlist so please be sure to check it out anyways i will see you in my next video bye for now